You might have bad internet. Oh, well, well. Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekar Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. As a matter of fact, let's get out this card because TikTok see you in the, the car. They're going to report your ass and then my damn channel is going to get taken down. Right, we cool right here. All right. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. To the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations. And to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you, Shalom. We're the brothers, Great Millstone, Chicago. Going to hop into a quick lesson, you know, go, pertaining to the end times and pertaining to you. Shit, I'm going to be like the brother, uh, the brother Mataz, you females. All right, because <laughs> I ain't going to call a, a, a female woman, you know, because being a woman, all right, you have to uh, do specific things in order to be counted as a woman. A lot of you so-called women are y'all just females. All right. A, a person with a vagina. All right, you don't cook. You don't clean. You don't do not a damn thing. All right. But you expect a ring and shit. But um. Look, the times that we're coming in, all right, hey, it's going to be beneficial for you women to, to get in order, all right? Uh, what scripture you want to start with? Yep, this is... Um, and speak up too. Okay. Yeah, this is 1 Timothy 2 and 12. Matter of fact, verse 11. And it says... Yeah, matter of fact, let's start at verse 9. It says, in like manner also that, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefacedness and sobriety, not with broidered hair or gold or, or pearls or costly array, but which becometh women professing godliness with good works. Right. right. So you women are held to have certain works as well. Right, because we're coming to a time where you have a lot of people waking up to the fact that they were Israelites. Okay, you got a lot of women, you know, Shalom, brother Shalom, which is good. But now you have to get in order, right, under your husband first and foremost. And if you don't have a husband, you know, then uh, the Lord will, will grant you one. Right, you're under the you're under the the, uh, the elders and apostles. <laughs> All right, you still can't, you know, you still there's still order to it. All right, and it says in modest apparel, which means what? You can't be out here just exposing yourself, booty all showing, cleavage all out there, yep. all right, leaving nothing to the imagination, all right? Yep. Now, you got you got some men who would look like, damn, that shit look good. Then you got some men that'd be like, I'm going to take that shit, you know? So you're, you're putting yourself out there when you dress like that. That's why the scriptures say dress in modest apparel. Yep. Cover yourself up. Go ahead. Yep, it says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to assert authority over the man, but to be in silence. And that's what the scriptures say. The scripture said that God is not an author of confusion. So it's written in there for a reason. All right. So women aren't set up to be teachers. All right. Women are not set up to be leaders over men in the scriptures. Right. All right. Women are to be over the children, over the household, over the young women, and teaching them how to take care of their husbands and their children and their household. All right, let this damn train go by. We about to get ready to go teach camp. We out in the elements, it's raining out here, We're getting rained on. All right, but that's what the men of the Lord do. Go ahead. That's right. Hey, real quick, Sirach 26 and 14, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. All right, All right so women got to be in order, you know? Right. It's a good thing to have a woman that's well instructed. All right? Yeah, hey, when a woman is well instructed, all right, 
guess what the man will have peace all right he could go and do what he has to do to come home to provide for his family and have peace of mind that's right but you got some men who don't even want to go home as soon as they get off of work, they go straight to the bar. They find other shit to do so they don't go to the cribs to get bitched at from their from their wives. They take the long road. You know? Road. They take, their, they take, <laughs> they the, take the long road home. They go in through the back door. Right. <laughs> shit. There you go. Hey, we're building a nation, man. You you women, you know, play an integral part in building a nation. You sisters out there who are believing sisters, man, you, you guys have to follow the scriptures. Yeah. All right? It says a shame faced and a faithful woman is a double grace. Ooh. Her continent mind cannot be valued. Right, the scriptures talk about that. Uh, finding rare rubies, you know, finding a, a woman who's really worth a damn. Right? Hey, we're in the time where uh, um, this is a, it, we're, the, we're in a recession. Right, people are stressing, man. But the word of the Lord is, is going out to the four corners of the earth. All right, so we ain't worried about it, man. We're worried about building our nation up. And you women, once again, the ones who are, who are believers. You have a role to play, all right? And you have to do your best to try to fulfill these things, all right? This isn't just a fairy tale or a fiction or something or just something that we're making up, man. The Lord really wanted us to have these things in our households. This yeah. is verse 16. It says, as the sun, when it arises in the high heavens, so is the beauty of a good wife in the ordering of her house. All right, so you're supposed to order your house a certain way. You're supposed to have a certain, uh, 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 order to how you deal with the things man because when, when when your husband leaves to go do the work or to go do the things that the lord has him to do guess what he needs you to be there and keep things organized and keep things ordered yeah right as the clear light is upon the holy candlestick so is the beauty of the fair and ripe age all right so this goes for you young women as well but i'm gonna jump back to uh first timothy 2 and 13 it says for Adam was first formed then Eve and Adam was not deceived but the woman being deceived was in the transgression yep because a hey, that serpent all right which uh when you have the understanding was the spirit of Esau back in the garden all right why do you think he went to the woman because she's considered the weaker vessel according to the scriptures all right that's why the woman needs the man to rule over her because she's the weaker vessel you know and we got to honor her as the weaker vessel that's why us men we got to learn patience yep. all right to deal with women because <laughs> hey they're they're emotional creatures yeah. all right they're really bugged out all right so you gotta uh um as a man you gotta know how to um to maneuver about situations like that you know that's right go ahead it says notwithstanding she should be saved in childbearing mm -hmm. if if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety right so for the women that are going to be saved it's going to be through childbearing if you do the uh if you stay in in the faith all right this uh believing having hope right charity having good works helping out others helping out your husband yep. right and holiness with sobriety all right uh not being drunk all right not um also not being drunk with all these other philosophies and shit out there in the world right. all right so but but what do we have today we have women that want to be on uh fucking what's this shit called um the the, the fucking contraceptive shits the plan b the the chop I can't even think of the fucking name right now where they can't give birth. Plan B. Well, that's the abort the baby. The uh, birth control. That's the word. They want to be on birth control. They want to go to Planned Parenthood and kill the children. Hey, why do you think Kanye West said the, the number one place, the worst place to be for a, a, a so-called Negro, all right, which Latinos, women as well, is in the womb of the mother, in their stomach. That's 50% of, of the murders of of our people right. all right but for the ones who are going to be saved it's going to be through childbearing all right they're going to have to bring forth children all right you got to understand two-thirds of our people are going to be destroyed on this side all right but they they were promised they're still israelites they were promised the kingdom right shalom shalom 
Shalom, brother. Hey, see the word going. See your brother said Shalom to us. All right, but uh, the Lord uh, uh, promised Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that our children were going to inherit the kingdom, etc. So those two thirds that are going to be destroyed on this side got to be uh, brought back into the kingdom through childbearing. As a matter of fact, we should just start walking to camp. Uh, let's grab our stuff. Y'all asking the wrong people. Y'all okay, got smartphones, right? Yeah. Type it in there. So you got a group of women out here lost, lost like a motherfucker. Look, they lost. They trying to look for a nail salon. They got six women got uh, uh, smartphones, but they dumb as hell. <laughs> Ask the damn smartphone. She just wanted to say something to you. Shit, well, she got her answer. We got work to do. Yo, this is Isaiah. Here, hold this. Okay. I'm going to grab my bag. This is Isaiah 60 and 22. All right, this is, it says, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Read the verse up. Okay. Isaiah 60 and 21. I also shall be all righteous. bringing forth children we're going to be bringing forth our, the, the rest of the, the nation who didn't make it which you don't want to be a nutsack israelite go ahead that's right a little one shall become a thousand and a small one a strong nation i the lord will hasten it in his time all right so that's that's what we're doing we're building up our nation okay when isaiah 4 1 comes and that time is coming very quickly, man. They're about to lock these cities down. They're about to do something, all right, because this word is going out, all right? But when they lock these places down, man, you women, you, you ain't gonna be able to run to the club, man. It's gonna, it's gonna, COVID and all that shit, it's gonna be, it's gonna be twice as worse as that, all right? There's gonna be people out here on the streets, troops, soldiers, all that stuff. Now we really getting rained on. Come on, let's start walking the camp. Oh, shit. You don't need nothing from right here? See, that's why the scriptures say be instant, in season, out of season. <laughs> you ain't going to see ISUPK out here today. That's the damn story. All right, but hey, this is the labor of love. I'm getting rained on. Yeah, close, get that. You know, because we were talking about uh, earlier how our, our, the condition of our people and um, how, hey, the, our women today, they're put on a pedestal, you know? They've been put on a pedestal. What's that in, uh, it says a woman shall compass a man? No, so yeah, I should have brought me a motherfucking rain jacket. It's all good. I let the, I get rained on for the Lord. I'm you right now. That's all good. I ain't tripping about it. All right, so our women's minds have been destroyed because of the the liberties for them to get abroad. All right. You got the, the 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 damn rap songs, rap. Oh, uh, what's that shit? The bitch saying, "Fuck nigga free. I don't worry about them fucking nigga chasing on me. Whatever the fuck that bitch said." Right, right. All right. Promoting uh, mur the, the the murder of your ch your own children from your own, you know your <laughs> your own body. All right. And wh what do you think the Lord's gonna do with that? think the Lord is going to be cool with that? Absolutely not.
I said, that's something that has to come back, man. There's got to be communication. There's got to be modesty. The Lord told us it should be. Right. That, you got to really think about that. They said even the sea monster yeah. takes out the titty for the damn baby. Yep. So you got to, here it is, you got a whale will breastfeed his baby. Our woman, Similac, fucking, what else they got? They got the damn uh, powder formulas and shit. Yeah, garbage. Right, that uh, for the most part, Kill Gates owns and shit. Putting all types of bullshit in there. When they took the vaccine, they said you can't even breastfeed with the vaccine. A lot of these women took the, took it anyway. Yup. They gave your baby that, that, that artificial synthetic shit. Hold on, somebody on here saying something. I can't really score through the comments. My phone is what? He said the answer is God don't have no children, but it and get your Islam stuff. Get Islam off my channel, bro. Look. The covenant was given uh, to Isaac. No, I meant, um, yeah, to Isaac. The covenant was given to Isaac. Get, bro, get lost, bro. You know what? Here, I'm tired of this dude. Get out of here. Give a damn about no fucking Islam. All right. We talking about building up our nation, the nation of Israel. We don't care about Ishmael. Ishmael, all right, he was blessed, but he wasn't given the covenant. All right, but um, here, give me your tripod. Get the uh, I think it's Second Titus. Get the Second Titus. Um, I think it's like the third verse. We're going up. Uh, we're going back on topic. Ishmael always wanted to be the center of attention. Man, look, you know what happened to Ishmael? Yo, mama was give, giving some bread and a bottle of water and told to beat it. That's what happens to you and your mama. But your servant mom. Yeah, I think it's Titus, the second chapter, like the third verse. You know, it start at one. Because we uh we gonna get on you men too. Yep, this is Titus two and one. It says, But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine, that the aged men be sober, brave, temperate, sound in faith, in charity, in patience. All right, so you men, you gotta. You got to acquire those things. Yep. All right. Go ahead. Yep, it says. The aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things. Women are supposed to be teachers of good things, not false accusers. Oh, so you know. Go ahead. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their you want to stop right here, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the most high be not blasphemed. Read it again. Yep. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Right. To love your husbands, love your children, be sober. But women today want to be free. You toxic. You controlling. I don't want no kids. I got a future. It's always about me, 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 me. You know, they don't, they don't, they're not, the women today, they're not trying to build a, a, up a household. They're not trying to um, live righteously, you know? They, they want to do what makes them feel good. It's all about me, me, right? Go ahead. And the man, all right, who's a true man of the Lord, has his own household. It ain't about him. It's about the Lord, about doing the work of the Lord and providing for his family. That's right. Go ahead. Yep, it says, to, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home. Keepers where? Keepers at home. That means stay your butt in the crib. <laughs> oh, you want to be out in the club shaking your ass. All right. All right, always wanted to be seen on TikTok and Snapchat, shaking your ass. Like, it gets to a point to where you see all these girls shaking their, it's the same damn thing. It gets, you get desensitized to it. It don't even, it's not even attractive anymore. It, it's just like, what, 
Do that for your husband. Why do you want to be seen? Yep. Now you now you looked at as a hoe. Yeah, she was shaking her ass. She going, uh, uh. What do you think that attracts? That attracts uh, uh, low-level guys. A real man. Let this shit pass by. Oh, wait, did you even pay for the parking spot? That's so bad. A real man. A real man ain't looking for that. All right, we're going to finish this scripture out. We can close out. Yep, it says, Good obedient to their own husbands that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed. Young men likewise. That was the point. Yeah. All right. So, let me see. It says, um, Obedient, to, obedient to your own husbands that the word of God may not be blasphemed. And Esau be talking all types of shit about, look at their, you got to understand in Revelations it says, the accuser of our brethren, which accuses day and night before God. Esau is like, yeah, see, you see God, look at your chosen people, look at your, your women, look at how they, they are shaking their ass and aborting their babies and, and, uh, um, Living they be, uh, city girls, yep. you know. They got a whole channel for you niggas. BIT. Right. <laughs> you can't. You can't do be doing those things. Yep. All right. You gotta be doing what's according to the word. That's right. But some real quick through the spirit, we gonna get ready to set up camp. Being we're gonna be on YouTube, GMS Chicago, Shapatya. All right. Just type in GMS Chicago and YouTube if y'all want to uh, tune in. All right. But uh, other than that, we're gonna get ready to set up. Lord willing, I was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.